Hello everyone. Today in series of Docplexus KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Ganesh Jivalikar, who is a pediatric endocrinologist at Medanta Medicity Hospital, Gurgaon. Thank you, Dr. Ganesh, for joining us. Our today's topic of discussion is insulin pump in childhood diabetes. To start with the questions, Dr. Jivalikar, can you elaborate on the psychosocial benefits of insulin pump therapy in children with diabetes type 1 and their families? Yes, uh, so uh, before we go on to that, uh, insulin pump is basically a machine which continuously delivers insulin and in insulin pump we use rapid acting uh, insulin alone which is given at a different different uh, basal rates which works like a basal insulin for example a glargine. Insulin pump also is inserted subcutaneously uh, through a patch and connected through an infusion set and that is how the insulin gets delivered. And this patch is changed once in 72 hours. Okay. So the first and most important relief that the families or the children feel is instead of pricking four or five or six times a day, they are having to prick once in three days, okay. which is a big uh, relief for them. Okay. It is important for them to uh, monitor glucose as they are on uh, insulin pens uh, or slightly more intensive also. Uh, in addition to the reduced number of pricks, uh, pump therapy is associated with uh, reduction in hypoglycemia because we can give different basal rates at different times. It is, if used properly, it is also associated with reduction of HbA1c, which improves their overall control and quality of life. They also get flexibility of meal timings and meal content. So okay. they can, uh, uh, depending on their schedules, uh, they can eat extra, uh, I mean, if they are having extra meals or snacks, they can bolus for those without having to prick extra. Okay. So that gives a bit more flexibility to them. So, uh, on the flip side of that is that some children tend to misuse this freedom and uh, end up yeah. overeating, which can cause problems also. Okay, doctor, moving on to the next question. What are the required insulin doses in patients with type 1 diabetes who use insulin pump and undergo continuous glucose monitoring? Yeah, I mean, uh, in terms of uh, insulin dose requirement, uh, theoretically, when you're using a pump, you need about 10 to 20 percent less dose than what you need on multiple injections. Uh, however, in practice, we do see significant variation. So the dose requirement can vary significantly. Uh, however, it is slightly less than what it would be on uh, multiple injections. Okay, so our next question to you is, what is your perception on the possible causes of skin problems to insulin pump and glucose sensor in children? Yeah, so uh, one of the main thing is that because the patch is adhered yeah. to the skin for 72 hours, uh, some people can have allergy or rashes because of the patch uh, and uh, or sometimes the adhesive if it is used. Uh, other problems happen if you don't rotate the site properly. So if you are uh, changing uh, the sites regularly, then you are li less likely to get problems. But if, if you keep on injecting in the same place, then you can get injection site lipodystrophies or uh, some skin infections or redness. Obviously, maintaining good hygiene will be important. Uh, if we don't maintain the hygiene, then there is increased risk of infections. Yeah. So doctor, how would you make a qualitative comparison of needles and insulin pump used in children with di type 1 diabetes? Yeah. Well, most of the uh, people uh, who use insulin pumps are very happy and uh, they don't uh, wish to go back to multiple injections, uh, mainly because of reduction in number of pricks and the increase in flexibility of lifestyle. Okay. So, doctor, any key message you would like to share with our Docplexus community? Yeah. Well, insulin pump is a very good tool uh, to manage uh, diabetes in a better way. Uh, obviously, like any other technology, if you misuse it, it can have problems also. Yeah. So, the flexibility that it offers needs to be used to improve the uh, glycemic control. Okay. Uh, because if we don't use the technology properly, then one can have 
poor HbA1Cs or poor outcomes of therapy, despite of using the highest quality of therapy also. So, uh, attention to basics of diabetes management is also equally important when we are doing insulin pump therapy. Okay. So, thank you doctor for your valuable time. It was great talking to you. Thank you doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you.